Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a requested reading, love reading on Kim Yo Jong, who is a South Korean actress. She debuted as an actress slash model at the age of five. Um, today, her birthday is September the 22nd, 1999, which makes her 21 years old. So we're going to do a spiritual look into her love life. Just to see, you know, is she in love? Is she happy? All that great stuff. So let's get started. Divine Angels, could you please give me the best three cards from this deck to describe Kim Yo Jong love life or a love relationship? Okay, says flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Let's see if we can pull a couple more cards with Kim. Let's pull cards for Kim. Okay. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Kim, okay. Let's see if we pull another card here for Kim. Alrighty. And it says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. So, let's break these cards down here for Kim. Kim Yo Jong. Okay. So, watch the flip card here for Kim. Love life. Divine Angel, what can you tell us about this flirt card here for Kim? Okay, self-sufficiency, okay, gratitude, luxury. Let's see, can we pull another card here for clarification? Sorrow, we have a sorrow card here. So it says flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. But it's like, what I'm seeing here for her is that She may need to learn how to flirt a little bit and be more self-sufficient so that she can um, stand in her ad adult power. Because it's like, it's like she's, you know, she wants a relationship and she wants to be in one. And it's like she's always, it's like there's some kind of sorrow that comes with her um, being able to flirt. You know, be, to be flirty with someone. It's almost like she probably can't do it. She she doesn't know how to do it. It's almost like she may even get a little, have nightmares even thinking about doing it. And and because she's not able to do that, it may even cause some depression in her because she feels like, you know, she wants. It's not, it's not like she don't want to do it. But it's like she, she doesn't know how. She doesn't know how. So let's break that down a little bit. Okay, let's find out more about this self-sufficiency um, card here. Why is that here for her um, love reading? For Kim's love reading of my angel. Why is this self-sufficiency card here? Okay, creation. Um, what I see here is like she... It's like in her mind, she 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 knows what she wants to do. Like she tries to uh, create scenarios where, you know, the next time I see this cute guy, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But it's like, it's, it's almost like it doesn't happen. It's like she doesn't take the initiative to do it. So she creates scenarios in her head and she can see herself doing it, but she doesn't go out. You know, and does it. Okay, let's find out more about this sorrow card. Why is this sorrow card here for Kim's love reading? Why is this sorrow card here for Kim? Recovery. 
It's like she, it's like she is, like I said, she has what it takes. It's like she has the key. She's able, you know, she's an able body. She's able to do this. It's just that she gets really in her own way when it comes to flirting and extending her light heart energy to others. She may even get some kind of anxiety. When it comes to flirting, and she may not even know how to flirt. She probably is shy and can't, you know, and doesn't know how to even be flirty. And even when she's so-called being flirty in her mind, people may not pick up on it and, and, and see it. Let's get some clarification on this. Because... Because with the reco recovery card on the sorrow... It's like after she, it's like she almost has to, you know, when she goes out and try to flirt, it, you know, it, 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 she gets so such strong anxiety doing it. It's almost like she has to recover from, from flirting. And it's like, how? Why? I don't know. It's, not, it's like it's like she's not opening up, you know. And even when somebody flirts with her, she may not even see it or understand it. But that's what they're doing. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Let's find out here. Uh, what can you tell us about this flirt card here for Kim Jones reading? Okay, it has extra, over the top, trying too hard, completely unnecessary, excessive, dramatic, out of place. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it. Okay. It's like even when she is flirting, it's like she's being dramatic. She's doing too much. And people do not perceive it as flirting. It's like she's being real extra, real over the top when she when she flirts. Or when when it's time for her to flirt. Because as you can see, this person right here is, is looks looks dramatic. Okay? As if this person is very dramatic right here. It's like she's very extra when she flirts. And it's like she be trying too hard, and in the, and in her mind, she's you know putting it out there, okay. But people don't perceive it the way that she's putting it out there, and it's almost like it feels like some type of rejection to her, and that and that makes her depressed, okay. And just even thinking about doing it again gives her nightmares that she has to even recover from it. It's like she has to sit sit it out for a minute and take a breather. Because she gets so much anxiety just by the thought of flirting with someone that she likes. Okay. What can you tell us about this sorrow card? Watch the sorrow card here for Kim Yo Jong. Love reading. Let me divide angels. Watch the sorrow card here for Kim. Okay. We have Netflix and Chill. A romantic chill date at home. Sexual chemistry. Dates and switch. Sexual activity, dating. And that's here for the sorrow card for Kim. It's like, okay, she's flirting, extending, being very extra. Um, and, you know, she may even offer like, okay, let's, you know, won't you come over, let's chill, let's, you know, let's hang out. You know, she wants to date, you know, she wants to put it out there, but, you know, with the sorrow, it's like she wants to Netflix and chill. But it's like, you know, let's say if you, you know, she may not even know what Netflix and chill is. <laughs> she probably invites somebody over. Come on, let's just watch a movie. And everybody know when, you know, when you're Netflix and chill, it's, it's, it's really, you know, somebody that's coming over, you know, and it's like almost a sexual activity that's going to occur. It's like you asking somebody to come over for sexual uh, favors. It's like a bait and switch. Like you say you want to Netflix and chill, sit down and watch a movie and chill, but that's not really what occurs on a Netflix and chill type of date. Okay, so when that occurs, it feels like, oh my God, you know, she feel sorrow for what, you know, what she just invited this person over to do. Okay, because with this ratchet card coming, it says person or place being rich, behaving stupidly or recklessly, nasty, un unappealing, inelegant. 
You know, so she probably thinking that she's asking this person, okay, let's Netflix and chill. She's thinking of a romantic movie. She's going to watch maybe some popcorn and a little coloring. And when the person get there, you know, they really want to Netflix and chill. <laughs> they just want to hit it and quit it. They want to keep it moving. That, that's what they asking for. And so to her, she's like so surprised by it. She's like, wait a minute, what is this? You know, you know, this is not what I asked you to come over for. And then, like I said, that gives us some, some sorrow. You feel sad about it. Like, oh my God, did he just want me for sexual favors? Okay. Because she may even be, because with the, uh, okay, boomer card, it's like she may be out of touch of what Netflix and chill really means. It's like she's very close minded, maybe, you know, you know, resisting the change. Because this was a card, it's outdated opinions. It's like she's a little outdated when it comes to, to dating. Okay. Because when a person come over, you know, they coming over to Netflix and chill. Okay, which is a ratchet way of saying, uh, hit it and quit it. Okay, have sex and that's it, you know. Because usually the movie don't even get started. Or, you you know, the opening credits happen and then they say, no, this person is all over you. And and to her, she's shocked about it. She's like, wait a minute. No, I just wanted you over to watch this, to watch The Notebook. And, you know, and to have popcorn and to cuddle. And... You know, and so they, so her thinking is kind of outdated. She's not up to date with what's going on in, in the new uh, millennial type of dating. She's, she's not up to date with that. And that gives her a lot of sorrow. A lot of, you know, and she even get depressed about it because she feels like, you know, th that this person maybe ha had used her, maybe took advantage of her in some kind of way. And she has to recover for, from it because she don't understand what happened. What happened? How did the Netflix and chill go wrong? She don't understand what Netflix and chill really mean. Okay. And then I see this card right here turned off that I didn't even notice it. It's ghosted. Okay. So she may have a Netflix and chill. This person right here surprised her with his action. Okay. Because he's coming over just to Netflix and chill for real. Okay. And so, and then next thing you know, he don't call her no more. She don't hear from her no more. And that makes her feel what you know just like any girl when a guy don't you know when he netflix and chill and then he dip out he's gone and then that gives us gives girls a lot of sorrows you know maybe be depressed wondering what happened because ghost of Christ says whatever you had is over you left feeling confused and wondering disappearing act no closure don't understand what happened what went wrong she thinking did she put in a bad movie did um what happened and, just, and she's just so outdated on what's going on in the dating world. So when she's flirting, she's being extra and telling somebody to come over that's Netflix and chill. Something she probably heard on Instagram. <laughs> Tell somebody to come over with Netflix and chill. They came over and, and Netflix and chill for real. Ghosted her. Didn't call her no more. And now she's feeling sad and left depressed and sorrow about what just happened. Confused about what happened. Don't even have a, she don't have a clue what just, what just happened with the situation. Okay, what can you tell me about this recovery card? And she may have to, I mean, I, I kind of get it. She has to recover from what happened. She don't understand what happened. Okay, what can you tell us about this recovery card here? Okay. Okay, it's, it says clap back, making a comeback. Don't be a doormat. Fight back, a comeback, return, fire, this. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, she had to recover from the situation of a Netflix and chill that she didn't quite understand. She didn't quite understand she was inviting somebody over for a booty call. She didn't know. Okay, so, she had to recover from that. And then, you know, and then she feel like a doormat. She feel used after the situation. Poor thing. You know, don't you hate that? You, you know, you really just want to watch a movie, have some popcorn, and cuddle. What's wrong with that? But you can't say you want a Netflix and chill. <laughs> don't say, don't use those words. Because that's just a ratchet way of saying, let's have sex. Okay, so let's move on. Now let's go. It's safe for you to love now. For Kim Yo. Kim Yo. It's safe for you to love Kim. Okay, you just need to open up your heart to give and to receive the highest energy of all, which is love. It's safe, honey. Let's find out. Well, still, it's safe for you to love here for Kim. Love reading. Okay. Okay. Now, just the thought of 
dating, the thought of being in love, the, the thought of letting somebody back in just gives her sleepless nights, okay, insomnia, can't sleep, just the thought of it, it's just too much for her, gives her anxiety, anything else you can tell us about, it's safe for you to love for Kim Yo Young, okay, but she's optimistic about it, okay, she, because she wants love, she's very optimistic about, um, Calling in her soulmate. Calling in someone that she cares about. She want to open up her heart. She don't want another Netflix and chill situation. Okay. Because she was doing the most over here. Now it's saying it's safe for you to love. Okay. Because you recovered from the situation. You know not to be a doormat. You know not to use the term Netflix and chill no more. So now it's like okay. Just the thought of gives her sleepless nights. She's it. Give us anxiety just thinking about just thinking about the situation that happened before, but she's optimistic about it because she wants to have love. She wants to have um, someone that cares deeply about her. She wants someone to come home to, you know, to be with. Okay, let's find out more about this insomnia card. Why is this insomnia card here for Camille Young's love reading? Okay. There we go. Gassed. The gas card here. It speaks of being applauded and cheered on over the top compliments, support, encouragement. So it's like somebody trying to gas her up. Gassing her up. About, girl, go out there and get love. Go out there and find love. You're so beautiful. You're so talented. Anybody would love to be in a relationship with you. Anybody would love to, um, you know, to date you. I mean, come on, you want the hottest chick in Korea right now. So she's being gassed up. But the more you gas her up, it's like the more it's stressing her out just even thinking about it. And then when she get all of the compliments from different guys, you know, they come in giving her all the over the top um, compliments. It's like that she still have a problem with that. She still don't know what to believe and what not to believe. Do they love her for who she is? Or because she's Kim Yo Jong, do they just want to Netflix and chill again? She don't know. So, um, but she's being gassed up, okay, about, you know, go out there, it's, go out there and love again. Go out there and be optimistic. It's like people are supporting her and pushing her on, encouraging her to do it. And it's like maybe the more they do it, the more it stresses her out. But even though that's what she wants, you know, she, but, you know, it's good to have people to encourage you. So what's the optimism card for? What can you tell us about the optimism card here? For it's safe for you to love. Orbiting. Digital, digitally observing a love interest. Keeping tabs. Staying connected. Stalking. A crush. <laughs> Cowardness. So it's like she is... So she's optimistic about somebody that she is probably watching on social media. She's watching him from afar. This person that she has her eye on. Is there somebody there that she's optimistic about, that she wants to move forward about? Even though she's a little, you know, um, apprehensive about moving forward. But she has people that's cheering her on and supporting her and pushing her to go and do this. Okay, and even the divine is saying it's safe for her to love. So she's watching somebody, you know, and she got her heart in her hand. She's like, okay. He's cute. I like him. He's keeping tabs on him secretly. Yes, she is. Let's find out. Let's see if we can find out some information about who is this person. Okay. Who's this person that Kim Yo Jong is orbiting? Why is the orbiting card here? What can you tell us about the orbiting card here? With this deck. Is there anything you can tell us about the orbiting card for Kim Jo Young? Yo Young Jones. Why is the orbiting card here? Divine angels. Let me tell us about the orbiting card. The card wants to turn over, but it was something. It's come out again. Orbiting card. Why is the orbiting card here? Kim Jo Young. There we go. Okay. Somebody that she thinks is a true gem, that's one of a kind. You know, somebody that just really shines and lights up her heart. Someone that's beautiful, unique. 
Okay. And this gem card is the perfect gem. So this person is divine in her mind. Okay. Anything else you have about this organ card? Okay. Destiny. Okay. It's somebody that got her stopping in her track. Okay. Somebody that she feel like, you know, should be in her life. You know, it's almost like she feel like this person is destined to be in her life. And it's like it's her destiny to be with him. And that's why she's so optimistic about this person. She's very optimistic about him. Anything you can tell us about this destiny card here? I'm going to say, what's the destiny card here? Past life. Somebody from her past. Somebody from a past life. That's, um, that she wants to re-enter. She's very optimistic about when she's keeping digital um, um, tabs on this person. She's, she is, um, and she's very, if this is a love interest, it's somebody that she is, uh, she's staying connected with. Maybe even stalking, has a little crush on from a past life. Past life. Okay, well, can you tell us about this past life card? We try to dig deep. Can you tell us about this past life card for Kim Joe? Kim Yo Young. No one wants to call it Kim Joe. <laughs> Kim Yo. Who is this past life? Mm. Fun time. Somebody that she had fun with. Enjoy. Probably went to concerts with. That she went out with, hung out with, had good times with. She always have fun times when she's with this person. Okay, the cards don't want to tell us nothing more. Let's see here. What can you tell us about this past life card, Divine Angels, for Kim Yo? Kim Yo Jong. What can you tell us about this past life card? This is past life card here for Kim. Oh, okay. Well, we do know it's a lover. It's somebody that she loves for sure. With this lover's card, somebody that she cares a great deal about. She has romantic feeling for. Her, but we already know that, right? And she's keeping. She's probably looking on Instagram, just tracking his every move. Anything to tell us about this lover's card? Okay. A message. Oh, she might even send him, get in and jump in his DMs, okay? She's flirting and says, save for her the love. Okay, because we have a message here. He may even send her a message. Okay, you see her. She got a phone here. She's checking out his Instagrams, check, checking out, you know, his social medias. Wow, okay. Let's see if this deck won't tell us anything about this lover's card. What well, can you tell us about this lover's card here for Kim? Kim Yo John. Love reading. Anything to tell us about this lover's card? For Kim? Dating Queen. She wants to date him. Okay. Yeah, she wants to go out with him. She wants to hang out with him. She wants him to come up, show up with flowers, take her out, wine and dine her. As a dating queen, is somebody that you know has options. They have dating options. The dating queen. What can you tell us about this dating queen? A blonde female. Fun blonde female, someone with some red hair, you know. Cute girl. Okay, when it comes to because I asked for clarification about the lover's card and it came up with dating queen, blind female. can you tell us with this deck about this blind female? Okay, who is this blind female? Let me see. 
Well, you know what? I'll use these cards. Yeah. I use these. Okay, who's this blind female? Let's see if we get a thing about blind female with this deck. Who's this blind female? Courthouse. Courthouse. So it's like, okay, with the courthouse and the sudden wealth, it's like this person right here is going to come into some type of fortune. Maybe the inheritance. Somebody that has some money. The lovers. Dating queen, blind female. What can you tell us about this dating queen? Who is this dating queen? Okay. It, it's okay new beginnings with the tree and the ring it's like a commitment okay could that the courthouse a commitment maybe a marriage with the dating queen who is also this blonde female who showed up as a lover for cameo okay mm, all right Let's move on to this religious card here. Okay, let's find out more about this religion. The re, uh, rigid, religion factors. Your love life is influenced by um, religious upbringing and spiritual path. Can okay, you tell us about this uh, religious factor card? And Kim. Okay, some decisions here that's going to be made. Some personal and financial decisions. And it's like she's juggling and trying to figure out. How to bounce it all out. Anything else you can tell us about this religious factors card? Sensuality. So with the religion factor, it's like your love life is being influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. It's like she's trying to juggle the situation. Especially when it comes to maybe her sensuality or her sexuality. It's like a sexuality um, is playing a factor here. Let's see. Kim. Okay. Why is the decision card here for Kim? Kim Jo. Kim Yo. Why is the decision card here? Kim Jo is about the decision card. Okay, it speaks a point of view. Try a different approach. Change your outlook, opinion, point of view, perspective. So it's like, okay, because it was speaking of outdated um, ways of thinking. Okay, and this kind of still speaks of that because when it comes to relig religious factors, maybe her upbringing won't allow for this type of relationship that she wants to enter. So she's trying to make a decision and juggle it all and trying to have a different point of view of everything. Okay, she's trying to try a new approach when it comes to this relationship. You know, just, you know, different perspectives on how to approach this relationship. You know, because she was brought up one way to believe one, one way and one way of thinking. But, you know, now she has to, she's trying to get a new point of view of, the, of this. She's trying to make it all make sense. Trying to make it make sense, okay? So let's find out more about this sensuality card. Why is it here for Kim Kim Jo? Kim Yo. Kim Yo Young. Kim Yo Jong. Okay. Okay, sensuality speaks of humble brag. Don't be so obvious. Read between the lines. Self promoting, disguising brag disguise brag. So it's like she's trying to be real humble when it comes to um maybe her sensuality, sexuality. Trying to get a different point of view about it. But at the same time, she's sorry, not sorry. Okay. What I what I did did wasn't wrong. She feel like, you know, how she feels about the situation is not wrong. 
even though maybe her religious upbringing may make her feel like it's wrong. But she feels like she's not sorry. She's sorry, not sorry. You know, she don't want to disrespect her upbringing. She won't disrespect anyone in her family. But she feels like she's sorry, not sorry. Don't care what people think. She unremorseful. Bitchy. <laughs> don't care when it comes to this uh, love connection that she has. Okay, she's she trying she wants people to have a different point of view when it comes to it. Because she's not sorry about it. She's going to, she is who she is. So we're going to end the reading there. Because it's been 30 minutes. I can't believe it. It's already been 30 minutes. Um, so um, that concludes the reading for Kim Yo Jong. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Okay, stay tuned to the next reading. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can always be notified when I put out hot videos. Okay, take care guys. Bye.